Hey guys, welcome to another Dark and Light video. Last episode, we went exploring around the entire map and we kind of get a feel of the layout. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do this episode, but uh, I think there's a lot of things that I don't understand with the game, especially the things like the darkness altars and a lot of the bigger magical spells and stuff like that. So I think we're going to delve into that. Okay guys, so I think the first thing we're going to work with is whatever this is. So I want to get this, the magic essence, because that's used for a lot of like weird spells. But for now, I'm using just the normal staff, but I did notice that we did unlock the druidic staff. So let's go build that right now if my character would move. We just need a little bit of ore, so it's pretty easy to build. And I already got a lot of the other stuff. Let's see. I think it's this ore, right? Yep, and we just build the druidic staff. So I don't know if this will make... Uh, collecting magic shards faster or something, but I guess we could try it out. So let's put the druidic staff on. And then we still have our spell on, right? Let's go see if there's a big difference in anything. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. So far... Okay, so far not a big difference at all. Well, so I don't know why. I don't know what's better about it, but... Uh, for now, I'm going to keep farming and try to get to the thumb. I don't even want to say it. I'm going to try to get that to rank 2 so we could get that magic. Alright, so there's an elite goblin here. We've actually never killed one of these before, so let's see if it drops anything cool. Let's head back one more time. Bam. There's a Bargesh here. Come on, go away, man. No, stop taking its stuff. <laughs> Can't believe a goblin just almost looted its own friend. Okay, well, let's pick up these arrows. Let's see what... Okay, so literally nothing much but more of this gold. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to go and try for a Wavering Tame. Now, this is crazy because I don't even have the Wavering Saddle yet. But I think I'm going to go for it. Now, real quick, let me get rid of this griffin. Okay, come on, griffin. Walk in my light. Walk in my sight of fireball there we go all right bam okay, okay i need this kebo to die though all right cool so let's go try and get a griff or a wavern now i don't have many shots but taking down a wavern i basically don't have like too many chances it pretty much flies away right away okay so i just killed this reaper it had an uncommon brimstone tunic so that's good. That can help us with, uh, I think, I, I mean, I, I'm going to get this wrong, but either the volcano or the ice. Either one. It'll help us with one of them. So that's kind of cool. Why is there a second reaper? That's my question. Ooh. And why did that hurt so much? Seriously. What? No other Reaper has been able to do that before. What? Okay, after three Reapers, I ended up getting... Uh, where is it? These two. Brimstone Hoods and Druidic Cap. So that is kind of interesting. And then I ended up getting like a bunch of other things like Weird Moonstone. Actually, let me eat those three. So yeah, that was interesting. Now, back back to the waiver. I'm going to try to get away. Okay, guys, this is going to be our first attempt try to get one of these now let's try to get a lower level one of course no reason to go go to a high level very quickly uh, okay i guess 21 will do it's it's high but oh well so let's try to get as many into them as possible it's two three four oh five uh i don't it's not flying up for some reason oh, i missed it is it going to fall? Did it fall? No, it didn't fall. This is good. It's getting stuck for us. And yeah, we just keep hitting it again and again. Okay, now I just need it to get stuck. I think we do need to let it move. So let's get rid of this boulder. Okay, now will you get stuck for me? There we go. It landed. Okay, now. So we actually got a wavering. Okay, let's get one of these. Then I'm hoping it eats meat. I'm just going to guess it does. Okay. Cool. 
All right, we got a wavering. Nice. Now how? Like, I'm hope hopefully his constitution won't go too low. Might have to get some more arrows, maybe. But let's really make sure that it's safe. It should be safe though. But uh, we might need some more of the the stone hook arrows. All right, guys, we're like a couple seconds away from having our first wavering here, wyvern, whatever. Yep, in about one more second, he should be all ready. And yeah, honestly, again, it was a lot easier than expected to get this guy with, uh, especially the Brundas. You should have to hit him two or three times before. I hit this guy maybe once or twice, and I don't even think I needed to, to be honest. I don't know if this guy's a low level, but yeah, he was pretty easy to tame. I'm pretty surprised about that. So let's go ahead and demolish this, give him the food, and then... The main problem, though, is I do not have a saddle. So I'm going to have to try to get him inside of our little base safely. Which that might be a bit hard. Okay, time to try to get him in here somehow. Uh, maybe if I can, like, here. No. Okay, okay. If I can get him to stay. Okay, will he land in here? Uh, let me put this on. Okay, so we're good. No. Of course, he went the opposite way. All right, well, I'm going to need him to not get attacked. Ugh, this is going to be rough. Yes, I did it. I made him stay. Okay, cool. Now, let's make sure. Uh, Okay, cool. We got him in there. No problem. <laughs> He's safe. Okay, but here's what we're going to do. Since we don't have a saddle yet. Maybe we can get to his saddle. Let's take a look at our knowledge. I'm just going to call it a knowledge tree. Where is it? Is it? Okay, so it's two levels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft a bunch of saddles. And I'm going to try to make... Okay, guys. So it's been um, <clears throat> at least a couple hours. Uh, yeah, for about a, like a two-minute segment, I've spent about like t a couple hours. Because, of course, it took... Uh, what it seemed like hundreds of, um, what do they even call it? See, I'm even losing my brain. Uh, riding, whatever, saddles. It took like hundreds of saddles to even level up far enough. And then even after that, I had to collect all the materials because wyverns take 250 fur. And fur is not the easiest to come by, at, these, at least not right now. But uh, how many do I need again? Is that 30 or 35? That's just 30. Okay, so then we have the copper at least. At least we have the copper, but... So let's go ahead and make that wyvern saddle. Ooh! That's like an hour or two in the making while that's going on. Might as well give myself a little... A little plus plus up in here. Ooh! Wyvern saddle. Alright, let me just, uh... Real quickly put some stuff away. Because I literally ran around the past couple hours. Just, uh... Let me eat all of these. Trying to get enough together just to even do this. So I am actually kind of exhausted because I, oh, I've been out quite a long time. And then drops, let's put that in there, put that in there, put that in there. Lots and lots of hide. And that's a drop. Okay, and then I guess we'll need the rest on us. And I did make a bar, one more bar gash one side. That at least helps. But um, also. Uh, my pants broke, so of course, that's going to have to be replaced somehow. Let's get these back in here. There's, I keep forgetting, man. I pick up so much stuff, like on these little adventures. But anyway, let's go to the wave room. But first, let me get something to eat. That's probably something I should do. So let's click 9999999 just like that. And then probably go to sleep to get my focus up. And then we will get the wavering. But first, I do got to take care of myself. All right, let's go see that wavering. Wyvern, whatever. Whew, this guy took a lot of work. It'll be easier from here on out. Um, so let's get his weight up and his stamina up. But yeah, this guy is fast. He's like... He... Oh... Fast and understatement. This guy is speedy. Look at him. So wyverns are definitely worth it. This guy is. This guy is. Whoo. 
Okay, this guy will be my new guy for getting ore. Jesus. We're going to have to tame a couple more of these, that's for sure. But yeah, this guy. This guy's pretty cool. Now, let's go ahead and put some more meat on him so he doesn't starve. But yeah, totally worth it. Totally worth it, in my opinion. That guy is going to help us out quite a bit. But now, let's go back to the original thing that we were playing with. And let's go back to the thumb to whatever this is. And we're going to get this. We have to get this, so I'm going to have to harvest some more magic. Okay, guys, let's quickly get this level 35 meteorite. And I think it's level 35, right? It should be. I mean, I know we can get it. We're level 42 now, so we can probably pretty much get anything. What is this? Air elemental. Okay, that's pretty good. We need some of those. Um, but the plan of doing the whole thom magic or whatever it's called, it's not going to pull through today. I've spent like another hour or two, and I'm only at 13%. So I'm definitely going to have to be doing it off camera. I'll even show you guys which spell do I have right now. Let's put on that one. And the best way to get these magic shards is pretty much through like magic monsters. So this is like a perfect example. And also um, another way to level it up is getting cores from elementals. But I mean elementals are very common but not that common you know. I still have to search a little bit for them. And see even there it only went up. I was not even 13%, we're only at 12%. So, I'm going to ditch that idea for today, and we're going to have to do it the next episode and kind of play around with it. For now, though, we didn't, we haven't really done much today, and I kind of feel bad. So, I think what I'm thinking today is maybe we can upgrade our house a little bit. But also, I just thought of, we actually do need to build, where is it? We need to build this. So, we need stone, copper, and iron. Stone, so we need... Uh, we need that. Oh, I think we might need to cook up some... Uh, we might have to cook up... Oh, can I even move? Okay, we might have to cook up some more copper. Yeah, let's go to the forge. Oh, actually, we have some copper in here. Perfect. Okay, so we can build that, which is good okay so we can build that uh let's build one of these i wonder what that is okay so magic essence oh did we oh hold up seriously did it go up that quick just by building that okay well then never mind i guess we are going to be playing with it today because i didn't realize that would level it up so dramatically so let's place the crafting station I guess we'll place it right over here, just like that. It's pretty big. Okay, so now we'll be able to do... Oh, we, we're going to be able to do a lot of this stuff. Build firewall, telekinesis, wall of lightning. Oh, that is so cool. You know what? I think we're going to... I What I want to try out is... How do you build this? Okay. I want to try out... Shape ship. Okay, so while we get some of those powders in place, let's kind of check this out. So I think this is literally what it means. Is it just a little wall torch? And then maybe if we stick some... I don't want to put all that. Let's put like 21 in there. Okay, so it's a little wall torch. That is pretty cool. Now let's quickly... We need to grab some of this stuff. Just like that. And... Let's just grab whatever we have in here. And whatever we have in here. Now, can we make some glass bottles? Okay. So, let's craft four. Why can we only craft... Oh, because we need more of uh, we need more of this stuff, right? Let's build one more of that. Now, if we go over here, what else do we need for that? Okay, so we just need the glass bottles. What is this? Do I need to fill a bottle up with glass or something? Um, does, is that what I need to do? Here, let's quickly drop... Oh, I don't want to drop that. Let's quickly put the ore back for now because I know it's weighing me down quite a bit. And we could put some of our thing down. I got a bunch of fur while we were out in case I need to make another waiver. And we can just eat all of those. Stick the gold coins in here now let's take a look how do we do we have to fill up those bottles with water or something 
How do I do that? Oh, do I maybe just need to stand in the water? I guess let's let's uh, let's check it out. Let's jump in the water real quick. And then now, oh, I just like right click on him. Okay, well, let's right click on that one. Oh, I almost drowned. All right, let's head back to the house. So now we know how to actually fill up the water bottles. Yeah, honestly, the most like exciting thing for me in the game is specifically the magic. So I'm really excited to see kind of like what shape shifting and stuff looks like. Like, what is it? But what else do we need? We need, oh, okay. So we actually need to put stuff in here. I keep forgetting that's how crafting works. Let's put this stuff in there. We can have ice cubes too, but for now let's just craft five of these. And then, so these take quite a bit. But let's see, what do we need for bear? Now we don't have a bear. Elk. Pretty sure we can do an elk. Okay, I guess let's do an elk first. So we're going to need salt pile though. How do I make a salt pile? Can I make it from here? Okay, we just need bone. Okay, that's pretty easy. So let's get some bones. Get some of these. I need some elk of those. I don't think we need too much. We just need about 15. So we'll let that make that. So let's stick... What is it? The foot. That. And then what else do we need? We got that. We got that. We got that. We just need the bone pile. So that should be done by now. Oh, that was actually quicker than I thought it would be. Stick that in there. Let's make one of these. So, how does this work? Okay, let's go outside so I don't turn into an elk inside of my own house. How does this work? Okay, so... Whoa! Okay, I don't know how I did that. But, um... Now I'm an elk. So that's kind of cool, I guess. I still don't exactly know how I did it. Is there any way for me to get out of this? Can I unshape shift? Is there a human shape shift? That's my real question. Well, um... I probably either have to wait this out or kill myself. So I think I'll take the kill myself route. Let's see if I go in here. And let me just punch somebody. Yeah. And I think they'll just kill me. Right? Why? Man, I have a bunch of health. Bam. <laughs> what can I do for you? What do you mean, what can I do? That's kind of like... It's kind of messed up. What can I... You just murdered me. What can I do for you? Well, in their defense, I guess I hit them first, but... Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, we'll definitely be using some of the shape-shifting things in the future. I'm pretty sure there's, like, a wyvern shape-shift. So, maybe we could go out, gather a bunch of stuff, and then turn into a wyvern and just run back. But that is pretty cool. Let's see. Let's put that on. Put that on. Remove that. Yeah, I guess we're all fine. Let's drop this. No, I... See, I hate... Why? I don't know why does it do that. Drop this and drop that. No. See, I didn't I didn't tell it to drop the coal. Alright. So guys, I know we didn't do too much today, but um it's late and this is actually surprisingly I've spent the longest on this episode out of any other episode and we've done the least. Just because it took me such a long time to get the waiver and stuff together and this magic stuff to even figure it out. It took a little bit, but um Let's quickly take is there anything else we can just kind of do for giggles doesn't look like doesn't look like it but we'll definitely be playing with around with some of this stuff but yeah for now guys I'm, this is gonna be the end of the episode if you did enjoy make sure to like and comment as a personal channel and i will see you guys later god bless and goodbye